What's up everyone? That's Dem Guy here coming at you yet again from the medieval battlefield. Only this time we brought out the heavy artillery. Today I'm going to show you how to be how to build the scorpion launcher, which is sure to break through the castle's defenses. Now, I call this the scorpion because it's based on the Roman siege weapon by the same name. Now, the Roman Scorpio was an early version of the crossbow, and once aimed, the soldiers didn't need to readjust it, and they could keep firing it over and over and over again and hitting the same target, which made it very powerful and very useful at the time. Now, unlike crossbows or the Scorpio, which rely on the bending of the wooden limbs to cause the projectile to spring forward, this version of the Scorpion launcher relies on the elastic energy stored in our rubber band. So when we pull back and load our bow, we're ready to fire away. Make sure you're always using proper eye protection and let's dive into the build. The first step is to take your clothespin and attach it to one of your craft sticks. I like to open up my clothespin and loop it a couple times through the inside of the clothespin and then around the tail as well. This way, it stays extra stable on the craft stick. Now we're gonna take a second craft stick and tape it onto our first one. Make sure your second craft stick is underneath before you start taping so there's nothing in the way of the projectile. We're now gonna attach our third craft stick. And this one about a quarter of an inch from the top and we're gonna make a T-shape. And we're gonna attach our tape. We're gonna just tape diagonally around it once or twice to just really make sure that that holds on firmly. And just so it doesn't slide down, I like to put one more piece of tape underneath my T-shape just to really hold it in place. Now we're gonna use our glue dots. We're gonna put one on each side of that T brace that we just made, and we're gonna attach a water bottle lid to them, and that's what's gonna hold our elastic bands on and really give us that crossbow shape. Finally, we're gonna take our last rubber band and we're gonna loop it around the back edge of our T-shape at the very top and then grab it with your open clothespin. Once you do that, you're gonna grab the edges near the top of your scorpion, grab the rubber band and just stretch them over the water bottle caps and that'll give us that crossbow shape and almost make a triangle with our rubber band. You're now ready to fire. Take a milk gallon lid, place it near your clothespin, and fire away. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this build, please make sure to mash that like button and smash that subscribe button to follow along for more build videos like these, STEM product reviews, lesson plans, lesson overviews, what I wish I knew, program building tips. I got all sorts of great content on my channel and a lot more coming out in the future. So remember, no matter where you are learning from today or where you are teaching from today, I hope that you are having a great day and I will see you next time.